good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Man, you know, I love black social media because black social media and a lot of the stories that revolve around it have a lot of unaccountability. And if you just look at the Shade Room, Neighborhood Talk, It's On Site, those stories every day, you'll see the real problem that black America has. And it's not just Pookie and Ray Ray-itis or just twerking and thotting it up. Yes, that thotting it up is there, right? We know the Pookie Ishas and the Pookie Ishas and the Pookies of the world, they're there. But what you're gonna always find is a lack of accountability. This is the disease that keeps on giving the black world, okay? I wanna start calling it Negro-itis, inflammation of lack of accountability. All right, let me talk to you about somebody that's very, you know, important in, in the, I don't know, I would say hip hop, now reality television, at least for the last 20 years. That is Stevie J. Stevie J uh, is one of the world renowned producers uh, of Bad Boy, um, very talented man. But we all know Stevie J is not about ish. Okay, we're gonna be real. Like relationships, you know, him and Faith Evans, all of that. Nobody looks at Stevie J and says, damn, I want to, you know, bring him home to my, my dad. Like nobody can say that seriously. If you were to look at Stevie J based on his history, can you honestly say that? You would be a goddamn fool to say that. You would be so stupid to say that. Everybody knows this, okay? If I have a, if I have a daughter, why in the, will she deal with Stevie J? I would think she's not serious, okay? So now we're talking about this young lady, so unique, 954. Now, I don't know, beautiful young lady too, by the way. Um, I don't know if she is a, uh, she's from Broward County. So when I look at her Instagram, all right, I, I see what I'm seeing here. IG model kind of looking, you know, uh, she, she's playing basketball and some sandals and, and the booty is out. Um, okay, yeah, she's trying to go viral, right? She wants to, you know, do her thing, got it. Okay, so she's trying to be in the industry. I don't know if she's a singer and all of that. But the way she presents herself, and the young lady might not like this, but I gotta be honest. Honey, when I see you up here, booty bouncing everywhere, and it's nice. I'm looking at it, okay? You you, you, you kinda like the first person I wanna see when I get a check, all right? I'm not gonna lie, you working with something. You are definitely working with something. But here's something, and you're out there weaving a sandal too. So when you look like this, what kind of people do you think you're gonna attract? Oh, 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 I know, Stevie J. See, when you are out here on Instagram, young ladies, you are out here twerking it up. You're out here half naked. Almost um, 10 out of five of your pictures, 200% of them, is bent over with sandals on. Do you expect to find a, a millionaire attorney that went to Harvard? Like, what do you expect? No, what you're telling me is Mr. F Boys, I, I want you to come in and chase for me. Negroes with felons, dudes who can't read and write, like I'll, me, I'm here, come get me. Come get me, please. I'm, I'm, trying to be, I'm trying to be loved by you. I don't even want nobody that got a job for real, that ain't got a felony for real, that work, no. Give me the trappers, the dudes in the entertainment industry, a dude like, D, uh, like uh, 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 Stevie J, okay? Let me, let, me, let me read something to you, what she put on her story. Look at this. It's so awkward and weird that he ghosted me right after I said I was prego three weeks because this man made it his business to get me prego. Babe, it wasn't no pulling out at all. So that's why it hurt me so bad and made it sick to my stomach. <sighs> we go way back. This didn't happen overnight. We have been messing around since then. He showed me that he changed and wanted better for himself. He treated me like a princess. Trust me, I'm not slow. Here's what she also said. I don't know. I go for older men thinking they're real men because they're older. Brother, BS they do don't even end. Them MFs never grow up. Then she tags him. Hitman Stevie J1, you don't deserve a baby from me. You are very trash ass human. You live off of people's misery. Nothing could ever, nothing good would ever come your way. Being a genuine person really sucks for me. I get played with ran over and hate it so much. It's ridiculous. I gotta stop. Uh, okay, young lady, let me just, let me just say this. First of all, honey, like I said, attractive young lady. <sighs> look, look at this post. 
I act cool, but deep down inside, I need my ass ate from the back. Oh, okay. Let me just, <laughs> let me, <laughs> let me just deal. What, what do you think you expect by what you're putting out there on social media, honey? What do you think you're going to get? Okay. Did you think that the way that you act and some of the stuff that you're doing, which is okay, but did you expect like you're going to get a person that is a family person, a person that is really serious about you? That's not what you're trying to display. So you end up getting somebody like Stevie J. Now you're upset that he ghosted you. You're upset that, you know, now it's you're playing the victim role. Now it's all older guys fault. No, no, boo. No, honey. You need to grow up. OK, as a young woman, it's time to stop being a little girl. Let me just talk to you for a second, young lady. You need to grow up. This man made it his business to get me prego. You ever heard of condoms? No, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. You probably never heard of them before, huh? <laughs> no, no, not, not condoms. You ever heard of birth control? No. <laughs> no, you made it your business to get pregnant. You've been a genuine person really sucks for me. Stop playing the victim. Uh, again, this is why the community looks like this because we have this mentality with ladies in the black community that it's everybody is always the man's fault. You pick the guy. I've already shown evidence he's not a person that's serious. But then again, when somebody would maybe view your Instagram page, you would probably, they would probably, oh, she's cute, but mm, no, this is a little bit too sexual for me. So let me not really try to consider her for wife material. So then what do you get? You get Stevie J. Like a lot of y'all are advertising for the customers that you want to get. For example, okay, if I have a King Cobra sign outside of my liquor store, I want Pookies and Ray Rays to come in and buy it. Because everybody know King Cobra, St. Ides, that's that ghetto malt liquor. Everybody knows it. We're advertising for a certain kind of person. So then you get mad when those customers come to you. You, you got to stop being mad about what you're advertising. And I see so many women go out there and you feel like you can do whatever you want to do. And then you're supposed to get genuine people in your life. No, it's not how it works. There are rules to this. You also have to be disciplined. You're not going to attract the right people in your life by just doing anything that you feel like you want to do. You're going to get shitty people in your life. That's how it works. You got to be serious. There are some ladies out there who, if you were to see them, you're like, whoa, I don't even know if I even want to talk to her. I was the, there yesterday. Um, actually, let me just say this. Ye I was in the bank the other day. I saw a sister right here in Uganda. That was so bad. I'm talking about she has some heels on, nice little skirt, you know, looking professional. The ass was popping and I, I'm like, oh shoot, like man, the way she tried to present herself, I know it's a work environment, but look, I, hey, I gotta come correct. If I wanna, I didn't say that to her, but hey, I will need to come correct. Otherwise, I'm playing around. I'm not being serious. But a lot of, a lot of young ladies out here, you're not doing that. And so you attract these pookies and rare that can't read them right. And you know, like you, like a lot of the sisters that y'all gotta start being serious. Where's y'all mentors at? Where are y'all women at that love y'all that's older than y'all that teach y'all about what, you know, you gotta try to look like what you wanna become. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the, subscribe to the bell, we're out. <laughs>